Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 26th Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at the second part of template engines. Alright then campus, so you're going to have to excuse my voice for this tutorial. I've just uh, had a really bad cold and I'm still recovering. But hey ho, the videos must go on. So, in the last tutorial, we went ahead and we created our first view, which looks something like this, the profile view. And we output some data using that profile view like this, okay? Now, in this tutorial, I wanna show you some more advanced things we can do with views because it's not just data we can output in them. We can output actual JavaScript code, control flow statements, that kind of thing. So, in this tutorial, what I'm gonna do is pass through some more data into this object and then through to the view, then cycle through that data and output that as well. So, let's go ahead and add some more data. I'm just gonna add some hobbies in here. And I'm going to set that equal to an array. Then in here is just going to be some hobbies. We'll call that eating, um, fighting, and I don't know, fishing. Okay, so now we want to pass through that data. Let's call this hobbies, not hobby. Uh, this data through to here, right? So we don't need to do anything else here because it's all stored in this data object. So that's being passed through to the view now. So I'm going to save this, head over to the view, and let's output that data. Now, I'm not just outputting a single variable, there's an array of data. So what I need to do is cycle through that array of data using some JavaScript. So let's do that under here. First of all, I'm gonna do a h2, and I'm gonna call this hobbies, and then we'll do a ul. And then what I wanna do is display each hobby in an li tag. So we need to cycle through the data and output an li tag for each hobby in the array because there could be three hobbies, there could be eight hobbies. We don't know how many there are, so we can't just hard code them. We have to cycle through them dynamically. So the way we output some JavaScript code in EJS is really similar. Right here, we add the angle bracket, percentage sign, and then the equal sign to output data. That is fine for outputting data. When you're just doing code, all you need is these two, not the equal sign, okay? So let's do the open angle bracket percentage sign. Then we're gonna grab that data, which is on the data object, dot hobbies so this is an array and then because that's an array i can use the for each method on it which is just a javascript method and what that is going to do is cycle through each one of these items in the array and fire a callback function for each one and i'm going to pass through that item in the array okay so for each item what we want to do is output an li tag but first of all we need to close this tag here so that we can add html again right here so we'll close that off there. So percentage sign, close angle brackets. And then we need to do the same thing down here because we're opening the JavaScript code again. So percentage sign and same over there to close it off. Okay, cool. So now we can output an li tag right here in HTML. And the thing we want to output is this item, right? So let's output some data. And we know to output data, we use that equal sign as well. So let's pop that in. And then this time, we don't want the data.age, we want the item that we pass through right here. All right, so let's get rid of that space. And I also want to add in a couple of little styles. First of all, the ally tags can also have these styles. And I'll say the h2, we'll just copy this stuff right here and change it a little bit. So we'll say 30 pixels. And I think that will do, to be honest. Okay, let's save that dude. And let's run this through nodemon. So we'll say nodemon app.js and view it in a browser. So it's running now. Let's open his profile. And you can see hobbies, eating, fighting, fishing. So we've output those now to the view. And the way we've done it is by using some JavaScript code right here, this for each method using EJS tags like this. So remember, when we output data, we use that equal tag. When we just output JavaScript, we just need the percentage sign and the angle brackets, all right? So there we go, guys. Any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial where we're gonna take a look at partial templates.